so welcome back everyone today in this video i will be sharing some best solution to fix unidentified network no internet access on windows 10 and windows 11. now this problem can be both with the ethernet connection or with the wi-fi right now i am connected with the ethernet connection and if i hover upon the network icon it says unidentified network no internet access now the very first recommendation that i would give you that kindly go ahead and restart the computer because majority of the time without applying any troubleshooting step a simple restart only fix the problem so that what you can apply first next you will have to click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key and this will bring up all kind of your network connection adapter now you have to look for the one where you have the problem make a right click on it click on properties and here first you have to look for internet protocol version 6 uncheck this option then click on ok again make a right click on the adapter click on properties click on configure and another box will be up now here from the top menu option you will have to click on power management and uncheck this option here that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power uncheck it click on ok again Again, make a right click on the adapter, click on properties, look for internet protocol version 4, make a double click on it. Now here you have to assure if you are using any kind of uh, custom DNS server address like of Google or Cloudflare, then you need to cancel it and choose obtain DNS server address automatically. But if it's already been selected to obtain DNS server address automatically, then you will have to go and choose the second option. And the preferred you can use the Cloudflare DNS that will be 1, 1, 1 and 1. And in the alternate you have to type 1, 0, 0 and 1. Click on OK. And click OK again. And now finally again make a right click on it. And from the suggestion you have to click on disable. Wait for a few seconds here like for 4 to 5 seconds. Again make a right click on it and choose enable. Now this time you can check back if the issue has been resolved. Like on my end, it is still not working. So next what we have to do, close everything. Right click on the windows icon, click on settings. From the left hand menu option, you will have to click on network and internet. And here you have to assure that you disable if you are connected with any kind of proxy or VPN. So click on proxy. And if there is any manual proxy enable, you will have to disable it. Then go back, do the same with the VPN. If you are connected with any kind of VPN, then go ahead and disable them. Once done, now you can close it. Again, click on your Windows search, type power cfg.cpl. Hit the enter key. Now here from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on choose what the power button does. Now here below the shutdown setting, you will have to look for an option by the name fast startup. Now if the fast startup has been enabled, you will have to click on change setting that are currently unavailable and the option will be highlighted here uncheck the fast startup and after unchecking you have to click on save changes and then you will have to go ahead and restart the computer and check back if the issue has been resolved in case if all these solution doesn't work then click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes and in the black window, we have to run few command and all this command you will be getting in the description so you can copy and paste. So the first one will be NETSH space Winsock space reset. Next type NETSH space Winsock space reset space catalog. Again hit the enter key. Then type NETSH space Winsock reset space reset log dot txt again hit the enter key next nth space int space ip space reset next you have to type ip config space forward slash release then type ip config space forward slash renew now this release and the renew command you have to use only when you are using the wi-fi connection again hit the enter key and wait for some time until a new ip has been assigned and once renewed, the last command that you have to type will be ipconfig space forward slash flush dns. 
Okay, now after applying all these command, now go ahead and restart the computer. So once the computer gets restarted, now you can check back again if the problem has been fixed. But on my end, you can see the problem is still occur. Unidentified network, no internet access. So it means nothing has been worked so far. So what additionally we can do, again click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. Now here we will be running a command, sfc space forward slash scan. Now, as this will be scanning the system file in case if any file is being corrupted, possibilities are that you might have trouble connecting the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet connection. So now this command will be scanning and wait until it's all been 100% completed. And meanwhile, you can also try disabling the antivirus and the firewall temporarily. For that, click on your Windows search, type virus, click on virus and threat protection. Click on manage setting under virus and threat protection settings. And disable the real-time dev drive protection, automatic sample submission, tamper protection. Uh, just for a while, okay? Once you have disabled from the left-hand side, you will find firewall and network protection. Click on private network and uncheck the Microsoft Defender Firewall. Once you have disabled, now you can close it. Now make a right click on the Windows icon. From the suggestion, you will have to click on Device Manager. And here look for the network adapter. Make a double click on it. You will find your network adapter here. That can be your Wi-Fi or the LAN. Whichever you are using, look for it. Right click on it and click uninstall device. Click uninstall again. Now you can close it. Wait for the command until it's all been done. And now you can close it. Again, go ahead and restart the computer. So once it restarted, now you can check back if the issue has been resolved or not. And maximum of you will be getting the solution so far. But in case like me, uh, you can see that still the problem occur. Then finally, you will have to click on your Windows search. Type reset. From the suggestion, you will have to click on network reset. Click reset now. And then you will have to click on yes. Now make sure that if you are connected with the Wi-Fi, when you reset the network, the next time when again you will try to connect the Wi-Fi network, it will be asking you for the password. So make sure that you remember the password of your Wi-Fi connection. And after that only you can click on yes. It says Windows will be shutting down in 5 minutes. So click on close. Click on close again. And now you can go ahead and restart again. Okay, and bingo now. So you can see after restarting the computer. Now finally my issue has been resolved. And if this time if I hover up on my network, it says network internet access. Okay, so once you get the solution, make sure that you go ahead and enable the antivirus and the firewall protection that you have disabled. So I will go to virus and threat protection, manage settings, and enable all kind of protection that I have disabled. You can see that my website and everything is working now. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you found the solution so far. Let me know in the comment section which method worked for you. And do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.